Hey everyone, here I am doing exercise 3.6, second question. The question is, what is the HCF of two consecutive numbers and the second is even numbers and third one is odd numbers. Okay, so the first question. So, the HCF of two consecutive numbers. Consecutive means the number which come one after the other, like 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11, 13, 14, like that. So, let us take a, like for example, we are going to take example of like 3, 4, okay. So this is an example of two consecutive numbers, 3 and 4. Now HCF is nothing but highest common factor. Now what are the factors of 3? It is 1 and 3. What are the factors of 4? It is 1, 2 and 4. And what is HCF here? HCF is nothing but highest common factor, which is 1. 1 is present in both, right? So highest common factor will be 1. So it is not only for 3 and 4, if you take any other consecutive numbers, two consecutive numbers, the highest common factor is always 1. So the answer for the first question is 1. Now the second one. Two consecutive even numbers. Even numbers means like consecutive, like after 2, then the even number is 4. So 2, 4 are the consecutive. A 4, 6, 8, 10, like that. So let us take an example of 6 and 4, uh, 6 and 8. 6 and 8. So we're going to find out the common uh, the factors first. So factors of 6 are 1, 2 and 3 and 6. And factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. Now what are common here? So here you can see 1 is a common factor and 2 is also common factor. But we want HCF. HCF is nothing but highest common factor. So from common factor we got 1 and 2 and from 1 and 2 which one is the highest? It's 2. So HCF is 2. So not only for 6 and 8, if you take any two consecutive even number, HCF is always 2. Now the third one, consecutive odd numbers. So let us take an example of 3 and 5. The same way like how we have done for 6 and 8, consecutive odd number like 5, 7, 9, 11 like that. So we're going to write down the factors of 3, which is 1 and 3. Factors of 5 are 1 and 5. So highest common factor, if you, you can see the common factor is 1, so highest common factor will all be also be a 1. So not only 3 and 5, if you take like 9 and 11 or any two uh, consecutive odd numbers, it is always 1. So this is a very simple question, but it can come for fill in the blanks or... Uh, true or false question i hope this is clear in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching